We do have our barn cat program, which is designed for people who are looking for cats, working cats. So people that own farms, people that own, we have um, a couple at a local brewery, some people that just want have property. I mean, not even just a neighborhood, but they have a mouse problem or a rat problem or snakes, and they want working cats to come work on their property. So what we do is pull those cats out of Gwinnett and we get them to the people who want to adopt them as working cats. I'm Matthew Lamatina. I'm with Slowpore Brewing Company out of Florenceville, Georgia. And I am the head brewer here at this facility. We have a, a little bit of a rodent problem here in Lawrenceville with uh, this building being very old and uh, we're near the railroad track so there's a conduit for the rats to get here easily. So um, we had a small problem. They go for our grain that we have in our building. And uh, I just, I always seek out a way in my own personal time to do anything that could be natural first before chemicals or anything like that's involved. So looked online, saw that Plant Pet Hood had a program to rescue these guys, <laughs> put them to work. They call them working cats. So um, I looked into it, contacted them through via email. Jeannie got back to me very quickly and um, got me set up with two. We also named them related to beer. So her name's Mash, the other one's Barley. I haven't seen a thing in here since these guys have been out doing their, doing their work. So yeah, we were never intended them to be friendly, you know, and um, be our pets. They were just here to take care of the, the population of rodents that were in here. So um, cool, it turns out they've become really friendly and adapted well to the space, been very social. We look forward to seeing her every day we walk in here. It's the first thing that's on our mind as soon as we walk in the building. Yeah, you know, people say they're allergic to cats. So just to be safe, we keep them locked up while people are in here, but they are out and about. If we were to let them, they would do what they're doing here, you know? And it was easy for me to do this and I definitely, I'd always advise or a brewery that has an issue with rodents or pests to adopt. So yeah, I, um, Jeannie was the one I dealt with that was the head of the program. She was very adamant to get to me as soon as she could to get, them, get a hold of these cats and um, get them to me. It's awesome that they're already fixed. Ears are clipped, so we already know that they've been fixed as well and gravy shots and all that stuff. So it's, and it's free. Mash, um, she often tries to eat my sandwich when I'm eating lunch every day. So she's always up on the counter with me. She um, She's all about me. That's basically my, my sidekick here. So she'll lay on my workbench with me while I'm working all the time and sit there and sleep on my book bag and all that stuff. So yeah. if you're ever out and about on a Thursday through Saturday evening at Slow Pour Brewing, ask for either myself or John Reynolds and uh, we can give you a tour of the building and our facility and you're gonna go see our cats that we've got.